Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the has traversing uh, function in jQuery, and we're going to be searching a particular element for sub elements or children of that element. And we're going to be using the unordered list as an example. Now, I'm going to create a, an example that's more perhaps more relevant, and we're going to use this in an if statement to check if a ul has any li uh, elements within it. Um, and we're almost going to be creating it in the theme of a menu builder. So for example, we're going to create a menu one. And let's go ahead to our browser. You can see that we've just got menu one there. So we're going to be creating a menu one and the menu is going to be made up of UL and LI elements. So for example, we could have menu item one in here and that would produce something like this. Now let's go ahead and just go ahead. Uh, let's just go ahead and style this uh, quickly first of all. Uh, so the uh, UL is going to have padding of zero and margin of zero. Uh, we'll just leave in the um, well, no, it automatically gets rid of the uh, the circle graphics. But there we go. So we'll have uh, a menu like this where we can go ahead and add more items. So for example, menu item two. But what we want to happen is we want uh, a default message to appear if no LIs exist within uh, an unordered list. So at the moment, you just see nothing. But I want a little message to un uh, appear under here that says uh, there are no LIs. And we search this UL element for children uh, elements of LI type. So inside ext.js, let's go ahead and just set up our document uh, once it's ready. So document.ready inside the function to be run when the document is ready. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to use each to loop through each UL on the page because we might have say more than one menu. Uh, so let's go ahead and use a selector and select uh, UL and then we want to say dot each. So inside here we create we uh, run a function for each LI or UL element on the page. So for example we could say this dot append a just as an example you can see that oh no a hasn't been appended so sorry that's this like this so uh, you can see that a has been appended there if we go ahead and we create another menu so menu 2 you can see that a is again appended after here so let's just get rid of that for now we'll you know be showing an example a bit later so uh, let's forget this line here what we want to do is for each uh, UL element, we want to uh, first of all, I'm going to create a variable called this selector, uh, which is equal to this. This just means that we don't have to keep using dollar sign and this. And then what I want to do is create my if statement. And my if statement is going to be, or the condition is going to be, if an li element exists within, um, or if an li element doesn't exist within some a UL, UL parent. I want to go ahead and you know create the message empty menu. So I say this selector dot has and this is where we're using has now and we can specify a particular um, element in here like li. We can use also use a variety of other selectors. So if you're using if you want to check has and wants to check something like uh, contains for example, you can do uh, just any selectors that are relevant to what you're doing will uh, should work. So we want to say uh, dot length, which will return a uh, length, and if that is equal to zero, that means that an li element doesn't exist within uh, the current ul that we're on, that we're looping through. So uh, we're checking for li's, and if that equals zero, we know that they don't. So we can go ahead and say this cell dot after empty menu. So now what's going to happen is because we don't have any elements in here, once we loop through this uh, ul we are checking if it has any li we're returning the length which essentially will return um, you know the length of how many it does have uh, so for example if we had two it would return a length of two um, in this case we wouldn't run this line but if it did equal nothing which it does at the moment uh, that is equal to nothing and therefore we uh, return this line so when we refresh now you see that we've got empty menu now if we go ahead and actually create some li elements in here so menu item one, you can see that that will disappear and we'll have menu item one instead. 
Now, I understand that this isn't really a you know relevant example in terms of actually um, a website you might have because you'd be in control of the code. However, if you were creating some kind of plugin that required li elements to be within a ul uh, parent, you might actually want to include has to make sure that you know your plugin is being structured properly on the front end. Uh, so it's extremely useful in that sense. Uh, I'll just go ahead and add another one to this and create another menu uh, just so you can see. So I'm going to create some empty ul tags there. Uh, and when I refresh, we've got menu item one, which has got uh, menu one, which has got menu item one and menu item two, and menu two, which is empty menu. Uh, as soon as we then go ahead and add some more elements to this, so li, li, menu item one, you can see that that message again disappears. So it's quite easy uh, or useful for validation within, like I said, plugin building. If you're making someone, you know, follow a specific structure. Uh, on the front end with regards to the HTML you might want to use has to double check this uh, and maybe feed back some information to the user based on uh, what the front end contains so that's quite a useful way of using it uh, but for now that's the has uh, function in jQuery